to take a Jeep WJ cluster out, and this is pretty self-explanatory. Um, if you have a tilt wheel, what you want to do is first tilt the wheel, and then you want to take this plastic piece and you just want to grab it firmly, and it should get underneath. That pops up. I'm a right-handed guy, but I need my left hand to always do something. I don't know. I don't understand it. So this just pops out. You want to pull your lever right here for your tilt wheel. Hold down on your wheel. And just kind of pull that out. And this is what this plastic piece looks like right here. All right. So you're going to have a Phillips screw here and a Phillips screw over here and a Phillips screw up here and up here. Self-explanatory. And what you're going to do is unbolt this, pull it out, unplug it, and there you go. Be careful you don't drop them, because then that means we have to get out of the vehicle and reach out for it. There's one right here. It's actually pretty tight for plastic screws. Or plastic screws. It's actually pretty tight for holding plastic in. Probably asking yourself why would why would you have to take the cluster out of your Jeep? Well, for many reasons. If the lights blowed, you need to replace a light. Um, it's good to know how to do this stuff because if you take this to a shop or a dealer, they're going to charge you all kinds of money just to take out four screws, which is unnecessary, and charge you for the light bulb. And then charge you for everything else. They probably got some kind of bench fee and all kinds of stupid stuff. So what you want to do is take a screwdriver. And as you can see, it's kind of real easy right here. It pops down. And that pops right out like that. You should be able to just stick your finger in there and grab it. comes out face forward like this. And then there's a plug right here you have to push a button which I'm not gonna be able to get the camera in there but I'll show you the plug you have to push a button and then pull out and the cluster comes out now the plug that I'm talking about is right here uh, it's just like this when it's in the cluster it's in the back like this and this buttons right here and you have to push it and wiggle it out now, what I'm after is, there's light bulbs back here. And you just twist these out to replace them. Then after you replace your bulbs, whatever bulbs you need to replace, you just reverse the process. Now don't freak out if you have ones that like the bulbs are missing because sometimes some Jeeps don't have whatever that bulb is. So don't freak out, okay? <laughs> but after you get your bulb replaced, like I said, you just take a pair of needle nose pliers, push down counterclockwise, they'll pop out, and just put the new one in, twist it back in. And now we just assemble it back. Make sure you plug your plug back in. Do not forget that. It's kind of a pain. Once you get it, it's easy. It does require two hands. And you push it in until it clicks. Make sure you put the bottom in first. Make sure you get the pegs lined up down here at the bottom. There's little pegs that go in a hole. Slide in, and then put your screws back in. I like to put them in with my hand, that way I don't lose them when I go to tighten it. Instead of putting it on the screwdriver. And you don't need to tighten these down like they're gonna Fly away and just tighten them to the stops. Just 
Same thing with the bottom. Take your plastic piece, you want to stick it in there like this. Make sure you get it in right, and then line it up. Press firmly. Put your wheel back up where it belongs. There you go, that's how easy it is. Pretty self-explanatory, the easiest cluster I think I've ever done. Users like 13 wires back there you gotta unplug. Just one wire, it's so simple. And don't forget to put your battery terminal back on. I'm Cherokee Ronnie, stay dirty my friends.